Now, this is the second camera that I'm talking about. It's, it zooms in my face even more. And yeah, I usually prefer this one because it's kind of brightness and I don't know, it just brightens my face more. But then I also like the other one do so many times. It's gonna be another place where you can have your history lesson, the real history lesson. No, no minus, no plus, no subtractions. When we're finally going to find out if all this race war about Cleopatra being black or white with the docu series is going to be so is she black or white? I guess you can find that out too. It's crazy. You know, honestly, I'm going to digress so quickly here. Recently, there is this talk about or this argument or this war about um, the Jada Pinkett Smith um, docu series about Cleopatra. And like, mm -hmm. apparently, the Egyptians or some are saying that, oh, why is she black in the docu series? And I'm like, I guess if I say, like, from a black perspective, because I'm black, and I'd be like, oh, you know, there's something wrong with this representation thing. Like, why do everybody feel the need to be represented in the in the film? Like, you see, like another group come up one day and be like, "See, we are not represented enough in Hollywood." Well, there is Nollywood. You could go to Nollywood, and maybe they would do a better job of representation there, or even Bollywood. What's this talk about? Like, is it about her skin color? The actor that actually played Cleopatra in the in the movie, is it about the skin color, or is it about the Jada Pink Springs? Because now she's not very likable, and maybe people feel like, oh, she should have done a better job at like actually saying that she is white. Or is it is it more deeper root in like? the people's aversion or people's distasteful or I don't know I would I don't even want to say hatred maybe dislike towards the past thing even if you say that this is historically not correct I know that I've also heard somewhere that they say that um Cleopatra is black maybe she's a lighter version of black or I don't know but I have also heard that so I mean, regardless if the actor is white or or black, I guess gain something from there and just move on. I don't think it's that deep with all this, like, oh, with all this race, color, war thing that's like, oh, she, sh she should have gotten it. Like, it's this Cleopatra is historically white. Like, are you, are you kidding me? Is this what the world has come down to? Like, what about the character of Cleopatra? History or whatever she done to his, in history, I've heard that she's, she wasn't very nice. So we're not even talking about the character of the person anymore. Of this historical figure, we're too preoccupied about the color of their skin and whether the producers are doing culture appropriation or culture or whatever i was like are you kidding me are you joking it's just a documentary series i don't think it's that deep. it's like saying that oh that table is supposed to be that table was historically there in the years that this person lived and if the table is not there then it's historically incorrect or it's a, like are you kidding me no no because i'm pretty sure this movie is not done in egypt too but if the series is done in egypt will you say that just because it's not done in egypt too then it's it might it's not historically accurate like don't get me wrong i understand the other sentiment that um she's why she's of greek ancestry and like there is this um, notion that the black community or the black people are trying to claim the history that's not theirs and honestly 
my take on it is be, would be like interesting that people would think that way that people that have I don't know skin color different than them are trying to steal a history from them for doing a cultural appropriation like really really is this about cultural appropriation is it about the skin color is it because the woman that played the Cleopatra was black because if she was any other person because I believe I read some something somewhere that even in maybe 2019 Gal Gadot the Wonder Woman she wanted to play the Cleopatra in a Cleopatra movie they were going to do but then she was of Israeli descent and then there was this argument that they are either going to get somebody that is, someone that is of Arabic descent or African ancestry that's going to play Cleopatra in that movie back then. But then now, <laughs> this docu-series have a person of, arguably, of African descent. And there is this still nuance about... Oh, she should have been... Why are they doing cultural appropriation? I mean... To say this, West African, South African, and East African have a unique history of um, and like beautiful and popular and well be and powerful empires like Shanghai Empire, the Yoruba, the Benin, the Zulu, the, the Mali, whatever I mentioned, the Songa, the Asante, so many other empires like that. I don't think anybody is trying to steal anybody's history. But as a creative artist, people can spin so many things on stories. But I don't think, even regardless of whatever they spin on the stories, it doesn't take out from the actual stories. It does not take out. So I feel like this whole um, Cleopatra Doku series, war, race, colorism, Arguments or war is just taken out of profession. And I feel like it's more about Jada and like her, the controversies around her than it is about the movie or Cleopatra or even whatever. I mean, that's just my take. I don't know. But I feel like it's ridiculous. I, honestly, I feel like the, it's ridiculous. Like, which is why I'm even like the amount of criticism going on over this and like mm, i'm feeling like this more about jada than it is about the movie or the fact that the person that played cleopatra is black or white or whatever i read so many arguments oh it's not i'm not against black people i'm not against that then like but historically um cleopatra is when it's like okay if the egyptian is saying that historically Cleopatra is white, it is of Greek descent. Are you saying that Egyptians are of Greek descent? I think the major reasoning, I don't know, because I'm not Egyptian, The Egyptians are Arabs or are of Arab heritage. So are they, are Egyptian Greeks now? Because if, because I don't know, like it's, you just know I'm saying that's okay, this person is Greek. Of, does Cleopatra even have Egyptian um ancestry does she because i don't even know if she does so what the fight about like like the egyptians are fighting over a their queen of greek descent because a black american make a docu series about the queen of the greek descent and she put the main character as black this is what it's about because, I don't know, I feel like do, I, I'm trying to find another argument that's going to say that this is not about the fact that the character is black or the character that plays Cleopatra is black. I'm trying to find another argument. But I can't because I'm just like confused right now. Why? What is it? What is it? And... <laughs> You see so many people just going back and forth about it. It's like, the person that you're even fighting about is Greek. It's not even Egyptian, but 
arguments that you have. You want to fight for the history, for the history of um, Egyptian culture or Egyptian um, queenship. Maybe you want to fight for that, but like, like, but she's not even Egyptian. And I don't. By what I've heard, Cleopatra wasn't exactly nice. So, but was she nice? Was she nice? Was she a nice figure? What's wrong? Okay, here. Historically, Cleopatra will be remembered as a woman who seized any opportunity that was placed in front of her. She was an aggressive woman who ignored her brother's claim to power and the submissive role women were supposed to play in politics. So, they said she was a great politician who knew how to show off her and her country's power and influence. You know, these are all very elaborate and very positive, um, affirmative about this historical figure. And... Um, but again, they said she was also ruthless and reportedly killed several family members in order to solidify her power. So that is not particularly very nice. She was charismatic and intelligent. And I guess that's... But again... Honestly, the way I see this is like, the war on like the race and the color for the actor that played the character in the docu series is more about the executive producer which is jada than anything because i'm like because it was like um there is yeah i heard this word about the black washing you know i've heard white washing it so many times but i've never heard of black washing it's like hollywood is trying to black wash history of doing black washing it's like i don't know i don't know like this is giving me that kind of um racism kind of um colorism kind of vibes like and of course there was that counter argument as oh what if um martin luther king was played by a white person or this or that so i'm like you know that's a very good argument would i be offended if martin luther king was played by another person that is not of black ancestry and i just feel like wasn't Cleopatra um story about like 2000 years old even if she were like maybe 500 or 1000 years old, we still do not however have certainty of her race if her argument sake i've heard that she white and i've heard that she was black too so but if someone will say that um if martin luther king or michael hex will be played by somebody other than that is not of black ancestry i feel like but why are they doing this maybe there's a reason why they do it maybe they can't find the, the right person to do it or they can't find the right actor to bring out the enigma of the personality that they're looking for i don't know maybe that's why the producers just settle for Adele, I think that's the name of the actress that played Cleopatra in this one. But would I be offended if somebody else played a story for figure of Malcolm X? I guess it will have to depend why, the reason why. The reason why they will make that decision. Do I see the point there? But the rate that people are going after that oh the docu series is so wrong it's cultural appropriation and even accusing the black people of stealing history i'm like nobody's telling your history no one no you cannot steal history it's not yours even you yourself are going to become history you cannot steal history i feel like that's kind of like an attack on like the black community over this like oh they're going trying to blackwash it Nobody's trying to blackwash anything, like, blackwash what? Blackwash who? Like, for arguments of who are we trying to blackwash? Who are we trying to, like, who are we even trying to blackwash? Like, seriously, it's not that deep. No, I don't think it's that deep. How will you feel if somebody, um, like a white person, played Martin Luther King? Like, 
again it's not that deep i mean of course that will hurt somewhere the way that i'm seeing all these arguments going on on instagram on like youtube like black washing <laughs> it's giving mm, it's giving racism kind of vibe like i mean so what that this person that plays Cleopatra is black so what so what the egyptian history and there is always that pool of like no it is black people no it is the why? I used to watch History Channel, so this history, there's this argument that in History Channel, like you don't always see black people being put in there as like part of the soldiers or other things like that. When like sometimes it's like clear that these people that you're talking about is are like maybe even not white or they are some other people or some other group of people. I don't think like black people really went all out and be like, no, you're white to watch it. <laughs> oh my goodness. It just feels so odd to me and it's giving that racism kind of vibe. Like, so what? So what? It's a time black people are not allowed to even play in movies. Or well, like they do blackface to represent black people. The dichotomy or the race and the colorism world that exists in the western world or even the whole world regarding black people regarding the black skin would always be there and it's so sad and then there was this i don't know i don't even want to talk about this anymore i want to get back to my general series that i'm talking about <laughs> I didn't miss a video and a commentary about um, the Cleopatra and the Netflix docu series. I've watched quite some videos about this, you know, just depicting that the using the main character, the Cleopatra character, as black is really not it for the docu series, especially because. Cleopatra was actually of Greek descent and I guess historically it's evidential that she's more Greek or more Meso something than she is anything else than she is black. I guess maybe obviously I don't know maybe I don't did they found her tomb or her casket? I don't know. Where her is that how like this conclusion came? But even personally, I have also heard that Cleopatra is black, or that um, Nefer Nefertiti, like so many of the Egyptian rulers or queens or kings, like that are are black. I don't know if anybody. Or if the Egyptians felt like the Hollywood or the producers are blackwashing the narrative of Cleopatra, I think first of all I want to say like it comes, it might come from retaliation or it might be like a little bit of everything, like retaliation or from like black oppressions or when or. The, or the narrative or the experience or the reality of black bodies in public spaces as in if you look at the history of like video making or motion pictures I mean black people have usually been the one that's always taken in or being oppressed if you if you want to say it that way like oppressed like maybe intellectual wise or opportunities and everything like that and maybe it is it is sort of retaliation that oh I can do whatever I want and white producers have always have also done whatever they want in producing movies in creative works and this goes into like writing too for the sake of inclusivity like everybody now feels like 
it is it's a must to put a person of colored in the in their movies or books or whatever which is weird i feel like it's weird and then it's also not weird it's weird because it's becoming more like a trend than in than it is of a purpose like we get it we need more representations we need more black or other kind of colored people in movies or in media space it is becoming more as a trend and the purpose is now lost so for this scandal and especially with the opera that is now like just widely all around i'm like as much as i get the opposite side as in like um they shouldn't have been cultural appropriation i also didn't get the thoughts about why it is so important that that the show needs to be cancelled out or withdrawn or i don't know cancelled out of um, netflix why why does it need to go that way the show is not even out or it's the series are not out you just see the trailer and everybody is just like oof all that is like wow, taking it back it's like no this is not right the series is not even out yet like it's not going to be out until two weeks yeah it's going to be out in about two weeks and all this fuzz around it already i'm like from the snippet of the trailer that i saw i'm like mm -hmm. i'm still not getting why the fuzz is it because like this character is actually black is that what? that's the cultural appropriation that's coming and you know it's so weird because I think the Egyptian are of Arabic descent and this Cleopatra character no not Cleopatra person apparently from two thousand years ago is was Greek descent. It's like you have <laughs> Egyptian you know it's so weird. Like to me it's just so weird. And then there was this argument that oh it's sculptural appropriation that like you are making this seem like it's a black person that is this historical figure when it is not and people are buying in into this thought and i lost my train of thoughts um but i am going to keep on continuing what i'm talking about okay seeing this from the retaliation point of this perspective i feel like are the black producers doing this just to retaliate for, uh, to retaliate to what the i guess the black americans or the black bodies have experienced in the movie industries like since way back so is it it might be like i i don't know what movie was being done at the time and then the producer was white. Is this opera too? Like, oh, shouldn't the producer be black? Because like they were talking about like a black, the biopic or whatever was about a black person. So shouldn't the uh, the producers be black? Like that situation, it's kind of like this Cleopatra Netflix situation too, which make it ridiculous and nuanced, you know. I want to say like from a creative kind of point of view everyone and especially if you're talking about diversity and inclusivity if you are fighting for inclusivity and like diversity actually then everyone regardless of race regardless of skin color should be able to play any type of character in a story or movie it should just be like that because how else are these producers or these um, characters or these actors going to portray their talents or their works or everything like that? If you only say that um, a black person should only portray a black person of history, or even if it's not history, if it's, even if it's fiction, mm. It might not always work. 
I mean, part of creativity is being flexible and being versatile. It is part of creativity. And I, you can argue for Jada and all their producers that did this docu series that maybe that's what they were going for and not really this opera that is happening. But then on the other hand, you can also argue against that it is cultural appropriation. But even if you're arguing that it's cultural appropriation, it has to be constructive and it has to make sense. It, has, it's, it shouldn't be something that I, as a black person, will be watching or listening to and then will see more will seem it will seem more of an attack on my body on my on me being a black person than it is about this Cleopatra um historical person or about the actor or about the producer because you know the producer also had lots of controversies going on the anger that is already going on about the producers just infused a lot more into this Cleopatra thing and I will just say that you know from what I've read about Cleopatra um, that she she was a political figure she was intelligent she was this and that she was amazing the way they portray her like in the stories today it's like oh she's this amazing woman but let's not forget that this woman also was brutal by what I've read and uh, by some accounts she was brutal Mm. But she also, but I think that people are kind of like justifying it for the fact that she was a woman who lives in a man's world or in a man's um, patriarchal system. And she did what she needed to do to survive. This Cleopatra thing, there was also about Anne Boleyn and Charlotte and Bridgerton, especially on Charlotte, that she was a black figure. Or she has some percentage of blackness or black heritage or black ancestry in her. But anyways, and then Anne Berlin, <laughs> that one was just so, um, so apparent and you can see that it is statement. I guess like for the Anne Berlin one, it's more, more of a statement. It's more loud and clear for the Anne Berlin one than it is for Cleopatra, I guess. But I, but I honestly think that the controversies going on around Jada Smith even fuel this Cleopatra Netflix controversy scandal. I just feel like that. I'm really trying not to go with the trend or that saying that oh it's cultural appropriation. But it is possible that it is, or maybe it is actually is. And on a more intuitive note, there are women, black women of African ancestry that are that were queen and that they were amazing and that they, they did a lot. The argument was that Jada could have picked any of these queens to talk about instead of um, Cleopatra and claim that she was black. But anyways, so there was Amina of Zaria, there was Ya Asantewa of Ashanti Empire, there was um, Kandake, Kandake Amani Rinas of the Kingdom of Kush, and that's also from Egypt. There's Anna Enziga of Mbande and Dodo. There's Nandi. Yeah, there's Nandi of Zulu Kingdom. There's Queen of Shiva, which is which will be like um Balkis. Makeda of Ethiopia of, or Queen of Shiva. And I guess it doesn't and I guess it doesn't have to be even like a queen that she could like portray their lifestyles, you know, or, or their make a documentary about their life i mean i'm not an egyptian i mean as you can see i'm not an egyptian i don't know if there are egyptians that have my color of skin but again would you say that cleopatra is an african queen i mean would you say that is cleopatra an african queen 
I mean, she ruled Egypt, and she's not even of Egyptian descent. Yeah, she did rule Egypt, but 